Hey guys, Lindsay with The Scrap Room here. Today I've put together a little tutorial to show you how you can design your own bookmarks using Canva. You can use their free or pro version for this project. Just head over to canva.com and create a new custom sized project. I want to be able to print these out on US letter size cardstock, so I'm going to start with an 11 inch by 8.5 inch workspace, which is US letter size um, in landscape format. I'll be using some of the floral clip art designs from my shop for this project, so I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description in case you want to add them to your collection and use them for this project too. Your new workspace will open up blank, and the first thing we need to do is to create a basic bookmark template. So if you go over into the left-hand column under Elements, look for the square shape, and click on that to add it to your workspace. From there, you can resize it to any size you want. Um, I'm going to make these bookmarks, I'm going to make a page of bookmarks, and they're going to be 7 inches by 2 and a half inches. So to resize it, just grab the little dot in the corner and click and drag. You'll notice that a little box pops up with the measurements, making it nice and easy to get the exact size that you want. With your new box selected, go up and click on the color change option up at the top and choose whatever color you want these bookmarks to be. I don't want them to be any color, I just want them to print the white from the paper. Um, so I just change them to transparent. You can also change them to white, it doesn't really matter. And then go over to the stroke option and add a stroke to it. By default, it's going to add a four inch or a four point stroke, which is a pretty thick stroke. Um, I just want a small little black line, so I changed mine to a one point line, uh, but you can leave yours at the four if you want to. Once you've got your blank bookmark made, you can center it in the page and um, just right click and go down to align and click on middle. Um, and that's going to center it right in the the, between the top and the bottom of the page and then you can right click on it and go to copy and paste or just hit while it's selected hit control C to copy it and then hit control V and that's going to paste it. Canva uses um, smart guides so it's really easy to just line things up space things evenly and then you can duplicate your blank bookmark all the way across the page so that you've got a page of four bookmarks. I always like to make sure that they're centered on the page um, vertically and horizontally so that way if say for example you want to make double-sided bookmarks and print them on the front and the back if you make sure that they're centered then they'll be all lined up when you go to print them so to do this just select them all just drag and click to select them all and then click Control g or um, click on the little group option there and then right click and go to align and make sure it's centered and in the middle Canva has a whole library of clip art graphics to choose from, but you can also upload your own. To do this, go over to the left-hand menu and look for the Uploads option. In the Upload section, you'll see a button that says Upload Files. This is great for selecting individual files or groups of items. You can also upload folders, which is nice for keeping your uploads more organized. I've already uploaded the folder of burgundy and gold floral designs I'm going to use in this project, but I'll upload another folder from my mega floral clip art bundle just to show you how easy it is. All of these clip art designs are so easy to work with in Canva. It's a great program, especially for beginners. I think I'll use these wisteria designs in my next project, so I'll pick this folder so it can upload in the background while I start on these burgundy bookmarks. Once you've uploaded your folder of designs, you'll be able to quickly access them by going to your projects folder in that left-hand menu bar. You can also scroll to the bottom of that left-hand menu bar to find all your recent uploads. Okay, so here I am in the uh, projects folder and you can see there's the wisteria that I'm uploading and then the um, burgundy and gold floral accents that I'm gonna use for this project. Uh, the wisteria will take a little while to upload, no more than a few minutes though, um, but here's all the burgundy designs that I've already uploaded. Okay, so here's where the fun begins. Uh, because your template's all ready to go, you've got your graphics uploaded and ready to go, and now it's just a matter of decorating the template. Um, so when you're in your folder with your clip art graphics, just click on the images that you want to add to your project. That's going to drop it into the workspace itself, and from there you can 
click on it and drag it around your page. You can resize it by clicking on the dots in the corner and dragging. And then once you um, put it onto your bookmark, it's really easy to just grab those little lines on the, um, the straight edges. Those are your crop lines. And you just click and drag that crop line into wherever you want to drag, um, crop that image to. This makes it so easy to work with the designs and fit them into the space you have. You don't need to overthink it. Sometimes the simplest combinations of florals and colors can be the most beautiful. Now you can create a whole page of the same bookmarks, or you can create all different unique designs. I'm making four different unique designs, um, and I'll be adding some text too, so I'm deliberately leaving room for that. Now I'm working with some bouquet designs that already have depth and dimension to them, but if you're working with individual graphics, you can add depth and dimension on your own by layering them. Um, just make sure that you've selected the item that you want to work with, right click, go to layer, and then you can either send it to the back or just backwards a layer or two. Uh, all of these floral graphics that I'm using are from my Mega Floral Clip Art Bundle. I've put the link in the video description for you if you want to add it to your collection. It's full of tons of different floral designs uh, for all different seasons and occasions. One of the things that I love about the Floral Bundle is that you can mix and match the pieces across the different seasons. There are wildflowers, there are soft pastels, rich floral um, tones for autumn. There's even a bunch of um, like Halloween and Christmas floral bouquets and uh, Valentine's Day. There's tons to choose from in this huge bundle. These burgundy and gold designs are just a very small fraction of everything that's included in this huge bundle. I really wanted this bundle to feel like a floral library that you can come back to over and over again for all different kinds of projects. It's full of um, high resolution PNGs, all on transparent backgrounds, so they're all really easy to use in Canva. You can use the designs not just for bookmarks, but you can make greeting cards, stickers, planner pages, scrapbook elements. It's just a super versatile bundle um, with tons to choose from in it. You can totally personalize your bookmarks with a favorite quote, someone's name, or even like a small calendar or um, a reading tracker. There's so many different ways you could personalize or customize these uh, digital bookmarks. Just if, if you're gonna do this, just make sure you leave some space when you're adding your graphics so where you can add the text and make it easily um, readable. Bookmarks make such thoughtful little gifts, especially when you design them yourself. It really adds that personal touch. This is also a great little project to do uh, with kids or friends. Anyone can make their own custom bookmark design. I love that there's no wrong way to do this. Just follow what looks good to you. That's what makes this handmade design project so special. It's like playing floral dress up with your bookmark. You get to keep trying things over and over until you like how it looks and it makes you smile. Now, like I said, I'm going to be adding some text to each of these bookmarks, uh, so I've left some space to do that. You can always tweak your clip art around after you add the text, so I'm just trying to get these to look about how I think I want them to look, um, and I'll make some minor adjustments later if needed. You might find it easier to zoom in and out a bit during the design process. Um, down in the bottom right-hand area of your screen, you should see a zoom that'll let you zoom in and out. But the shortcut for it is you can actually just hold control on your keyboard and zoom in and out with the roller ball, roller ball on your mouse. Uh, that makes it a lot easier to just zoom in and out right where the mouse is focused at. Um, so it, it helps you kind of jump around the page and, and get a better view of things up close. Once you get everything positioned kind of where you want, it's time to add some text. To add the text, go over to the menu bar on the left and click on text. Canva has tons of options to choose from. Um, I like to pick something that's easy to read, but also something I genuinely like.
For this first bookmark, I'm using one of my favorite script fonts. It's called Mostly Sunshine. This is a font that I purchased over on Font Bundles and imported into my Canva account. I do think you have to have a pro account to be able to upload fonts that you've purchased elsewhere, but um, Canva has loads of fonts to play with within the program itself, so browse through their library first. For some of them, you will need to have a pro membership, but they have loads to choose from that are completely free to use. To change the letter or line spacing, go to the spacing option up top and simply drag the applicable slider to adjust things how you want. You'll notice when you're dragging your text around that it'll pop up smart guides to show you when it's centered with an item or on the page. Be careful that you're, if you want it centered to the middle of the bookmark, that your bookmark is centered to the page and that your text is centered to the page. Um, when I first started to line up this text, it was trying to line it up with other clip art graphics. So I just right click on it, go to align and go to middle to have it center it into the middle of the page. For this second bookmark, I'm going to use the railway font, but for part of the text, I'm going to make it bold. So I added my text block uh, with the railway font and added the first part of my text. And since I want to use the same font, um, I'm just going to copy paste this text block by hitting control C, then control V. Um, and then that's going to duplicate that text block so I can change the text to say on and then highlight it all and make it bold. Again, just a quick adjustment with the line spacing. Um, and then I'm just going to resize this on a little bit and then group the items together, two text blocks together so they're easier to move. And then I'm just going to reposition them a little bit so that they fill the space better on the bookmark. And I like how that one looks, so moving on to bookmark number three. This third bookmark, I'm going to split the text up so that I put a little shh at the top, and then I'm going to put I'm reading down at the bottom. To change the color of your text, just select your text box and then go up to the color select tool up at the top, and that'll open up the, uh, the color select window on the left and you can go over there and click on a different color to change it to the different color. Now you'll notice one of the nice things that Canva does is it actually selects all the main colors from your document that you're currently working with. So it automatically pulled all these different maroon and gold colors that are in the clip art that I'm using, making it really easy to match the text with the clip art graphics in the design. This bookmark project is really so fun and thoughtful. Um, you can make bookmarks for so many different occasions. You can make them for birthdays, teacher appreciation gifts. You can make them for your uh, book club friends, baby showers, holiday gifts, um, stocking stuffers. If you borrow a book from somebody and when you return it, you can return it with a cool custom bookmark that you made for them. There's just so many different ways that you can use these to share a thoughtful gift with somebody. When you're all done designing your bookmarks and you're ready to print them, uh, go up to share in the upper right hand corner and click on download. That's going to open up the download menu. And from there, you can pick the file format that you want to save them as. I recommend saving them as a PNG file. It's going to be a high quality image file that's really easy to work with on pretty much any device. Um, you could also save them as a, a PDF file, but if you do that, make sure that you flatten the image because that way, if you try to open it as a PDF on another device that doesn't have these same fonts, um, it'll get confused when trying to display the fonts. So I recommend downloading it as a PNG. And then once you've downloaded your PNG file, it's ready to print. You can just print that right out onto some US letter size cardstock and cut them out. They're super easy to work with. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this tutorial showed you just how easy and fun it can be to design your own custom bookmarks using Canva and your favorite clip art designs. Um, whether you're making them for gifts, 
to sell, or just for your own reading adventures. It's such a simple project with endless creative possibilities. If you'd like to use the same floral set of, of clip art that I used in this video, I did link it in the video description below. Um, you can find all the designs in my shop. There are several hundred designs, so it's a really big graphics bundle that you can use for a ton of different projects. Um, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my page. Um, I share a lot of beginner-friendly design tutorials that will help teach you how to use your digital items to make all sorts of crafty things. Thanks again for watching.